Yes, you made it to day seven of From Passion to Profit. High five. Yes, I'm so happy you guys made it here. Great job. I know we've covered a lot of ground, especially if you're new. Today's lesson, we're going to talk about three elements that you can use in your business to take it to the next level. The first element in your business is tracking. If you're not tracking, how do you know what works and what doesn't? Okay, so what are some things that you guys can track? You guys got website traffic and website sources. How much traffic is coming to your website? Where is the traffic coming from? You guys want to track the amount of traffic that you guys are sending away. How many clicks are you generating when you send an email to an offer? Is it 100, 200? Now you know kind of how much traffic you can send uh, at, from an email. You know how much traffic you're sending to an offer. Earnings per click. You guys want to track your earnings per click. If you're sending to an offer that makes you $1 earning per click or you're sending to an offer that makes $2 per click, which offer are you going to send it to? You know, especially if they're about the same thing and equal quality. Test or uh, track your opt-in rates. You know, what's the conversion rate? How many people are coming to your website and opting in into your sidebar opt-in or to a squeeze page that you specifically made just to capture leads? Uh, is it 10% of your traffic is converting to an uh, opt-in or is it 20%? You know, track these amount of things. Sales, that's a given one. That's the only one that most people do track is sales and how much money they're making. But you want to track where those sales are coming from. Use unique links when you're putting out affiliate uh, tracking codes. Add a TID and ClickBank and, and stuff like that so you know, hey, this banner is sending this traffic to get the sale or your email was sending traffic to get the sale. So track those. And the last thing you want you guys to track is what is your dollar per lead. That means how much people, you know, how much is your uh, funnel worth? When you have a visitor coming and opting in, you know, do you make a dollar from that visitor on average? Uh, you know, how well is your marketing funnel? You want to focus on your marketing funnel to increase your dollar per lead. Let's take a look at installing analytics and checking some of those tracking I was talking about. Let's go to that video now. You're going to want to install Google Analytics or another analytics tracking code. Um, Google is the most popular. So go to google.com forward slash analytics and sign up now. Okay, and you guys are going to get a tracking code and you're going to copy and paste that tracking code. Go into your WordPress, uh, click on your Woo theme if you guys purchased a uh, premium Woo theme. You just click on that under general settings, come down here and tracking code. Uh, paste your Google Analytics or other tracking code here. So I just you know right click paste and save all changes um, once Google has is gone live with your tracking it might take a day or so so just give it time then you log in to your Google Analytics and uh, I'm just gonna use my wow site as an example okay so you guys want to find out your website traffic and your traffic sources it's just something to keep an eye on um, so this is over the period of time here so this is one month and uh, this is the vis visitors that my my wow site gets right now uh, something I'm not working on anymore visits right here you can you sort by country see where visitors are coming in from around the world and your uh, page stats, uh, that's how many unique visitors, that's how many page views, how many pages per visit, what's the average time on your site, what's the bounce rate, that means when someone comes and, and just leaves right away, because obviously they weren't interested in what you had. Um, traffic sources overview, it's got like a circle chart here, uh, percent of search traffic, percent of referral traffic sent from another website, and then direct traffic that just landed right on your page maybe they had a bookmarked or typed your website name in and these are the keywords that people are typing into these search engines to find my web page so so when you type in these key phrases and you're scrolling through the results you, you know uh, my domain will show up um, so that's how you find out your traffic sources and you can see how much traffic you're getting I just wanted to give you a quick overview of some ClickBank stats that you want to track. 
go to clickbank.com, log in, um, click on reporting, and then uh, analytics. Okay, and it's going to show your hop count, which is your clicks, how many times uh, someone had clicked to go to an offer. Um, at the bottom here, here's your hop count for each product that you're promoting, your earnings per per hop, earning which is your earnings per click. Okay, how many hops per order? Hops per order form impression. Sometimes they'll make on the sales page and they'll check out, but they won't actually complete their uh, thing. Maybe they decided, no, it's not for me. Last second. Okay, order form sales conversion. This helps you find out what the page that you're sending the your people to, how well the sales page converts. So, um, and rebill is when it's a reoccurring product, say it's a monthly subscription, you'll get an affiliate commission on a regular basis if someone signed up through you. Uh, upsell, upsell is when someone buys the product and then once they go into the product that they have another product to sell them, it's an upsell. Okay, and usually you get an affiliate commission on the upsell as well if they do buy the upsell and refund is uh, if someone bought the product and refunded it within I think it's 30 days or 60 days uh, they will they will get their money back and Clickbank has a pretty much no questions asked policy so some people will buy the product and then ask for a refund and and you won't get paid for that it has to clear through first the refund period before you guys get paid okay Okay, the second element in your business is taking to the next level is outsourcing. Outsourcing is paying someone else to do the work for you. If there's a certain aspect in your business that you don't want to do or you're struggling with, outsource your weaknesses. You want to focus on your strengths. Pay someone to do it. You know, don't stop and then, you know, just beat around the bush for a week. You want to break through that path and if you can't do it, outsource it. Pay someone to get it done for you so you can keep your business flowing. Um, some great websites to focus out some tasks are elance.com, you got odes.com, and a favorite of mine is fiverr.com. You can get things done for five bucks. So what types of tasks can you outsource? You guys can outsource graphic designs for your websites, um, programming if you need help with coding, uh, writing, even the content. If you decide you're not that good at certain content but you want to focus on a niche, you can pay someone to create your content for you. Uh, research, if you want someone to research something for you, you can outsource that. You got email and customer support. If you know, if customer support can be a headache, especially if it's a lot of easy support and where it doesn't need to directly involve you, you know, you can outsource that task as well. And search engine optimizations, some people are really good at, you know, optimizing web pages for Google and stuff like that. So you can outsource those type of tasks. Uh, let's go into a video real quick of uh, using Fiverr. Fiverr.com, it is my favorite site pretty much. I use it all the time for stuff. Um, just some examples on the right hand side, you guys can get graphics done, uh, logos, banners, okay, Photoshop stuff, video. You guys can have intro videos done. Our, uh, we have our intro video done, it was done on here. You guys can get reviews, uh, testimonials, animations, social marketing. Um, just like backlinks like you just you know if it sounds too good to be true it might like these backlinks and stuff like they're not you know what I mean it's just some stupid guy saying he'll give you 8,000 backlinks but that's not good for SEO like you think it is but it's not it's unnatural so just don't don't do stuff like where it's super unnatural okay um writing people will write stuff for you in a certain niche uh translate so just a ton of ideas um on fiber and it's pretty cool just want to share that with you guys third element in your business to take to the next level is scaling you want to scale it up the best you can if you are kind of consistently making the same money every month you know take that shit to the next level okay so what can you guys do to scale it up you guys want to uh, reinvest the money you're making into your business. Don't just take it all and spend it. You want to save 
majority of what you're making until you're at an income level that you want to, you know, be at. So always reinvest that money in yourself, your knowledge, and um, anything that is going to directly help your business. You guys can also uh, focus on conversions. Okay, you got opt-in page conversions, uh, sales conversions. If you can just increase it by one or two percent, you know that's going to increase the money that you're making. So. If, you know, focus split test which works better. Uh, test web page A versus web page B. Um, t start paying for traffic. If you're not already paying for traffic, start paying for traffic. If you've got a good uh, dollar per lead and you know your value is about a dollar per subscriber or it's getting up there, then you can start reinvesting money to build that list faster. So that way the next month you've got, say, 5,000 people on your list. Uh, even though you kind of just broke even the month before, but now you're going to be making you know a thousand extra dollars just from building your list up from the month before. Start creating your own products. Leverage joint ventures and affiliates to promote stuff for you to help build the list to help bring in tons of sales all the time. You know, start becoming the expert in your market. Create products that other people will promote, and and you will be the authority, and you can promote that. And it's your own product, you know. Break away from private label rights content if you're using that to get started. You know, create your own. Okay, today's action steps. I want you guys to go ahead and install Google Analytics. Uh, you know, get associated with your affiliate programs. Check out the stats. Outsource something. Be the boss of your business. Find something you don't want to do or a graphic you need done. Go to Fiverr. Go to Elance. Get it done. Go outsource something. And then the third last task of this course, guys, is bookmark this page. Save it in your web page favorites because it has access to the entire course. If you need to go back and see how we did something or you just wanted to re-go through a video, you'll have access to the whole course on this page. So save this page. If you're feeling overwhelmed right now, you know, go back through our course, go to the daily action steps and take action on those action steps. Don't give up up guys you know you guys have short-term struggles it'll be well rewarded in the long term okay just stick to it be consistent don't fall out of pattern just stay focused have integrity in your business don't spam people trying to market and get traffic don't do unethical things don't promote garbage or do things that aren't gonna actually help people and you're just trying to make a dollar off them don't do that it's not gonna help you long term at all Okay, treat your internet marketing business like it's a million dollar business because there are many people in this industry who make that every single year. Okay, if you guys are stuck and you can't find a solution, email us. Hit reply to one of our emails and tell us what you need help with. Then we know what content we need to create in order to help you. Have fun in your business. That's the most important thing, guys. Have fun and be the boss. You are the boss, okay? You're not an employee for anyone else but you. Just work hard and achieve your goals. We're going to continue to help you reach the time and money freedom that you guys are looking for. So we're going to continue to provide you with content that you need or products that's going to help you get to the next level in your business. When you already have this in place and you need to go to the next level, we're going to help you get to that next level, guys. So um, continue to check emails from us, open them, and click through the links to get to wherever we want to send you to help you get there. So a big thank you for being our subscriber. A big thanks again for spending time with us. And I hope we painted a picture with this course how you can turn your passions to profit by making money online. So until you hear from us again, take care and take action, my friends.